So, what was the best thing about the video? The girls. No. The finished product. I mean, at the end of the video, was well, the end of the day, rather at the end of the project, <laughs> the video came out really, really beyond expectations. And the girls. Did you say the girls on it? Yeah. The unique thing about shooting the wobbly is uh, straight comedy. Yeah, it's the first video that I shot that is nothing but comedy from beginning to end. It's Paul Coy Allen, director of Sebastian's Wobbly music video featuring Petey Pablo, Wiz, and some more people. I can tell you, you gotta see it. The video's different, you know what I mean? If I'm gonna make a video that you may not like, it's gonna be a video that you don't like that's different, where it still stands out. I'm not gonna make a video that you dislike and it fits with all the other videos that are being played in today. So to make that happen, I had to grab a director who's like, I wanna say well known in the industry. You know, he uh, he did uh, Morning After Dark with Timbaland and uh, So Shot. He also did Say Something with Timbaland and, uh, and Dre. With the song Wobbly, people kind of think it's gonna be like booty shaking in the club. I had to get, I had to figure out how to get away from that. When Paul came up with it, I elaborated on the treatment of a merge of old classic movies. One thing Sebastian told me when he wanted to shoot the video was he wants an underwater shot. And that being said, I kind of thought, okay, 1980s movies, someone needs to get thrown in a pool. So from that, uh, I went off into the world of Revenge of the Nerds meets Old School meets um, Porky's, which are all movies I was watching when I wasn't supposed to be watching when I was seven. If you ever get a chance to work with Paul, he'll take your vision and also understand how to work around things that come up. Like we had a couple things that came up within the video that Paul just knew how to work around. There was a time where we didn't have time to get a certain shot. So Paul knew the angles and the quick angles to cut around that to make the time, you know, catch up because we were late. Working with Sebastian was actually, it was, it was, it was great, it was phenomenal. Um, I came out to Miami. You know, when you, when you as, a, as a director and you approach new artists, that's a, that's a cool thing about music videos, they're short lived as far as production go and you, you move on to the next and you, you learn about the next artist. With Sebastian, I was very impressed with his quick wit and ideas that he brought to the table, you know, um, and the fact that he can pull off some of these situations in one take, um, that, that was by far um, something that impressed me. He's, he's definitely somebody that's going to last in the game for that. In itself, not you know, let alone being a great MC and artist, you know. But well, all y'all that don't know, I pay for this video out of my pocket. There's no label that supported the video or anything like that. This is all out of my pocket. So once you go overtime in the video shoot, everybody gets paid overtime, and that money can really begin to add up. So my whole thing was to shoot a good quality video within the time limits that we have set. So we don't go over time. Um, watching him perform uh, was just, just amazing. You can see every tick and every move, hit every snare and hi hat and a beat, which is once again it's reminiscent of Busta Rhymes, you know. Um, and it's refreshing because no one's doing that nowadays. Um, so my hat's off to the smash on that. And the process was, you know, it was it was nothing. It was fluid. That's why I think we got to, through so many takes because of that factor. You know, let alone the setups were easy. You had a great team um, behind me. You had a great AD, a great DP, a great producer. Um, and we lucked up with a lot of locations and a great casting director. Um, um, casting directing is, I would say, is a lot more um, people work. You have, to, you have to know how to deal with people. Everybody, you deal with everybody directly on the set. My name is Jay Taylor and I was the casting director. I actually love being behind the camera um, the most out of all of it. I like the behind the scene work. Um, all the hours that's put into deciding, looking at all char characteristics of the models, the characters, the actors. Um, I would say my favorite part was being behind the scenes. Uh, people like Petey Pablo, Wiz, 
once again with Sebastian. Uh, man, putting them dudes together, playing the roles they did was, you know, I don't think you guys are ready to see it. It was just, it was, it was magical, man. I can't, you know, between underwater, uh, the the level of professionalism and talent, even, you know, like I said, people like Pete Pablo. Like I didn't expect to see Pete Pablo show up on set in a sweater and do the things he did. <laughs> Pete Pablo in a preppy sweater. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect that. Uh, we had models with uh, prima donna attitudes, egos, of course. Um, give names of the models. The pre, yeah, the prima donna. Oh models. gosh, God, I can't do that. I can't do that. But it was a, it was a few. It, for the most part, though, most of the models had great attitudes, great spirits. Um, they came on set ready to work. Um, we chose a great group of models, group of uh, characters. Because people really had passion about shooting this, this video and making sure it's right. And I think that's what the arguments usually spark. For example, they feel like a certain model should be on a certain part. They will voice it. Since I'm the boss of this whole thing, I don't like to get into it. So I kind of let them argue among, amongst each other and then I'll make the final decision. It was no hard part shooting this video. The hardest part was just dealing with the heat. The, the crew that was behind it, once again, my, my AD, my producer, the casting director, uh, down at the DP, it was amazing. And Sebastian himself, so there was no hard part in pulling this off. I, yeah, I'm happy, you know, to say I, I was a part of this project. And, you know, it's like I said, for me to laugh thinking about it, I am hope it comes across on the screen. Um, by far, it's like one of my favorite projects today. Um, Yo, when you see this video, like, not only should it be video to year, but appreciate the time and effort that was put into this. I mean, yo, I had a black hoodie on. Okay, you're probably thinking that's nothing. I had a black hoodie on in 97 degree weather. Like, the whole time. And I was running. And I was underwater. And my homeboy got picked up by a bodybuilder. You gotta really watch it. You gotta watch it. I'm sorry. Well, I appreciate your time. I don't really appreciate yours, 